In this segment, I will discuss the importance of keeping an engineering journal. Having worked for such companies as Boeing, Lockheed, Raytheon, and Pratt & Whitney, and having consulted for many more engineering firms, I was always amazed at how many engineers actively used and maintained an engineering journal or notebook. I was equally surprised at how many new or recent graduates had little or no understanding of how to use an engineering notebook or, or journal. To help correct this problem in new engineering graduates, I ask that you choose either a digital or manual process for keeping an engineering journal or notebook. I personally believe it is still easier to use a manual or paper-based journal. However, each semester, there are a few students who try the digital approach and by the end of the semester, tell me they wish they had not. The choice is yours, but remember, I recommend the manual or paper-based approach. Journals come in many form spiral brown, softback, hardback, and even leather. I recommend a journal that is eight and a half by 11 inches or 210 by 297 millimeters. Pages should be numbered. The journal should have either lined or engineering paper. If you need isometric, graph, log, or any other type of paper, you can purchase a few sheets and either glue or staple these pages into your journal. So the actual engineering journal or notebook is not that special, other than it has numbered pages and may have special paper. In the practice of engineering, new ideas are discovered, problems are solved, and assignments are taken at any random moment or hour of the day. The role of the engineering journal or notebook is to capture these discoveries, solutions, and assignments. If it is a an original idea, then the journal becomes the record the lawyer will reference when preparing the patent, document, and associated materials. Engineers put their best discoveries, their most difficult challenges, and their day-to-day -day activities in their notebooks, concluding the day with a date and a signature. From time to time, they will have an associate read their journal and date and countersign it. So what do I expect you to put in your engineering notebook? I would expect you to fill it with sketches, both orthographic and pictorial, showing improvement week to week. I would expect that you would have lots of notes, from your textbook reading, video lecture viewing, and watching specific CAD tutorials. Your notebook is a good place to paste in examples of assignments, keeping a record of what you have turned in and when. I have found that my notebook gets filled up with unanswered questions and these become the roadmap for my personal study and research. Planning is another thing I recommend that you capture in your notebook. Students who try modeling in a CAD system without a plan generally take twice or three times as long as someone who has spent a little time planning their approach to modeling. Finally, the journal or notebook is an ideal place for you to record how much time and how consistent you are with such things as textbook reading, watching lectures and tutorials, planning and CAD modeling. 
Why should you keep a journal? First, it is what real engineers do. Second, it becomes a quick reference to the video lectures and tutorials. Third, it is your executive summary to your textbook. Fourth, it becomes a physical record of your sketching progress and improvement. And fifth, it is a backup or record of what you have submitted. Thank you for viewing this video. If you have not subscribed, please go to cadmodelinghub.com and subscribe so you do not miss future videos, lectures, tutorials, and other materials. Thank you.